Hey everyone, this is Brian Moore from PM Square coming at you with another planning analytics tutorial. Be sure to visit me over on LinkedIn where we can connect and I can answer any further questions you may have. Let's jump right into it. Today's topic is planning analytics spreadsheet services. For those of you that are cloud customers, uh, this tutorial doesn't apply, so you get the day off. But for the rest of you, I got some good tips in here for the new release of spreadsheet services, which you may have noticed in Fix Central that there's a few new packages out here in July and August for this new tool called PASS. Basically, spreadsheet services is a standalone TM1 web. So going forward, uh, IBM's no longer going to package TM1 web and the install kit for PA server. So as of PA 2.0.9.2, uh, this server version released in July does not include TM1 web. So going forward, you're going to need uh, to do one of the packages for uh, spreadsheet services. 55 in July, 56 came out in August. Now, why the change? Uh, as you know, PAX and PAW are being released very frequently, usually on a monthly cadence. And those changes have affect, affected compatibility with TM1 Web. So IBM's decided to incorporate uh, spreadsheet services as a component to keep your TM1 Web installation in sync with those PAW and PAX releases. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Uh, if I go ahead and click on the most recent, that's 56. I'm going to continue. And we're going to review that uh, each package is about 600 megs. We have a Linux version and we have a Windows version. So most of us are on Windows. We'll go ahead and download that package. And then we'll get it unzipped. And we see here there's a new installer icon. So we can go ahead and run the installer as an administrator and that will start the installation. Shiny new installer uh, that comes with this particular install. So we see here, um, we can go ahead and run through the wizard. Uh, the wizard does run very quickly once you kick off the install, about 35 seconds on my machine. So didn't have the typical hangups that uh, the server install does. And then finally, when we get into our services, uh, we see a brand new service called PA Spreadsheet Services. And that's gonna be alongside your old Cognos TM1 uh, service, which is for uh, TM1 applications like TM1 Web and uh, TM1 applications or contributor. And so the both services will be on there. When the install completes, it does set that old service to manual. Uh, it does not turn on the new service yet. So we turn that on uh, manually by starting up the services and then it runs automatic after that. Also note that upon the installation, it will copy the settings and the configuration from the existing uh, Cognos TM1 uh, applications and will apply all of those configuration settings. So there is no configuration manager released with this tool. And it goes ahead and applies those automatically so you don't have to. If you do need to make some changes to those settings, you'll have to go into the config files uh, manually and change those individually. All right, getting into some technical notes about the install. Uh, so we've covered the services. Uh, as far as contributor customers out there, uh, your updates will still come in the PA server uh, packages. So when those new packages are released, there may be some updates to the contributor uh, or TM1 applications going forward and your PMP service will still run under that service, that IBM Cognos TM1 service. Uh, so they're kind of bifurcating from TM1 web and still maintaining that old uh, TM1 applications to run contributor. And they will run on uh, separate unique port numbers going forward. So you need to make sure that those uh, each service has its own port number. Uh, if you are an SSL customer, your config settings will be transferred automatically to the new spreadsheet services. That is nice. Uh, don't have to go through all those custom configurations and headaches anymore. Uh, recommendations for uh, server sizing, and this is just in general with old TM1 applications and, and for uh, spreadsheet services going forward. If you have it on its own machine, uh, baseline, you need four cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, but 32 gig or 64 gig is typical. Uh, there's also a note that they recommend uh, updating the JVM setting from 1.5 gig of RAM up to four gigabytes of RAM. And finally, um, as far as comp compatibility, uh, you want to keep the 
spreadsheet services release in sync with your packs and your PAW versions that you're running. Um, as far as synchronizing with PA server, they have tested that uh, spreadsheet services is compatible back to PA 2.0.7. So the 55 release will be compatible with 2.0.7. Uh, but as we roll forward here, you will need to start upgrading that PA server release if you want to stay compatible with the latest TM1 web releases and likewise uh, PAW and PAX releases. And last but not least, um, public service announcement, we do want to encourage all customers to adopt PAW and PAX if they haven't already done so. Um, there is some, some legacy content out there in TM1 web, and you know it may be hard to make the switch, but uh, all the R&D and all the uh, development on the IBM side, it's all being spent on PAW and PAX and making the tool better in that area. We've got a really exciting release coming out here at the end of the September, which is going to have some very exciting new features you'll want to take advantage of. So if you haven't already done so, uh, get a good look at PAW and PAX and look to start migrating content in that direction. That's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, PM Square, and we'll see you next time.